All right, guys, welcome back, Bush Gardeners. This is the third installment of the Arduino Nano Pulse Induction Metal Detector Project, and we are going to look at sample pulses today, specifically the main sample, the EFE sample, and the audio chopper sample. So you can see our uh, printed circuit board here. Up here on test point two is the uh, transmit pulse. And down here, test point five, that is our main sample pulse. And obviously up here in yellow is our ground reference connection. So today we're going to look at test points 5, 8, 12, and what we're using as a kind of a reference is the transmit pulse, which is test point 2. So let's run through those on the oscilloscope now. Okay, looking at the oscilloscope on channel 1, here is our transmit pulse and channel 2 in below that in fuchsia or purple, whatever, that is our main sample pulse. And if you look at the uh, bottom of the screen, see we're set at uh, 50 microseconds. And for channel 2, we're set at 5 volts. And our main sample is 50 microseconds in width. Okay, on the screen, once again, channel 1, main transmit pulse, and channel 2 is the EFE pulse. You can see the uh, difference in time compared to what we had for the main sample pulse. And if you look down in the lower right-hand corner, make note that we're running a frequency of one kilohertz. So let's take a look at the audio chopper signal. All right, on screen now, that's test point 12. That would be our audio chopper signal. And in the lower right hand corner, you can see we are running at a frequency of between 490 and 491 hertz which would be correct for this project. Let's take a look at the schematic and a little brief look at, at uh, the portion of the circuit that we concentrated on today. All right, so as discussed, uh, we said we we're going to take a quick look at the schematic and concentrate on the portion that we looked at a little bit earlier. As specifically, we were looking at the main sample pulse, the EFE pulse, and the audio chopper. So right down here is the Arduino Nano. And as we know, this is what is responsible for the timing of the circuit. So let's take a look at uh, what fires off that main sample pulse, for instance. If we were to look in the uh, sketch for this project, we would be able to see that digital output 9 has been assigned as the main sample pulse. Okay, so here it is down here. We trace it up and it's going to trigger this uh, 2N3906 transistor, right, which in turn comes to the control pin of the first 4066 switch, right? So we've looked at these 4066 switches several times, and uh, we know it's, it, it's basically 
a, a single pole switch with a control on it. Um, these are in out, but in in this case, you, it's, it's very easy to see. Pin one is in, pin two is out. So what's going on to pin one? Well, pin one is the output of the preamp. Okay. And then we have the main sample triggering and that's what you get out of pin two. And essentially the exactly the same thing is happening for the EFE pulse, except if you look at the, uh, the sketch of the, for the nano, you can see that the EFE pulse is controlled by digital output 10 down here on the nano. Once again, you trace it up, goes to a uh, exactly the same kind of transistor 2N3906 and that is what controls the second of the switches of the 4066. And with these 4066 switches they're both getting fed the same thing. They're both getting fed the output of that preamp. So switch two EFE pulse and we know the purpose of that EFE pulse earth field elimination so that you're you're comparing your main sample pulse to the EFE pulse and the the earth field signal is getting subtracted from it and let's take another look down here and we had a, a, a look at the audio form of the um, chopper signal for the for the audio signal and once again this is being uh, produced by the nano and you can see it's coming off of d11 if you were unsure where it's coming off of you didn't have the schematic you can always look at the sketch and it will tell you exactly what that D11 is doing. Digital output 11, there it is. Going off to another switch of the 4066 and then we'll look at the, the audio portion in one of the upcoming videos. So that's it guys. Pretty simple here. Um, it's, it's nothing we haven't really seen before. This is just a little bit different form and that a lot of the control is being done by this uh, Arduino Nano. All right, thanks for joining me and I look forward to the next video.